Hello guys, today I've got an exciting video for you. I'll be showing you how to run Windows 10 operating system directly from a USB flash drive. If you have a high speed flash drive, you can install Windows 10 on it and use it just like a regular operating system, allowing you to save files, browse the internet and perform everyday tasks all from your USB. It's like having a portable operating system in your pocket. Setting this up is simple and easy. Just visit this website. I'll include the, this website link in my video description. Scroll down and click on Haslio Win2 USB. We'll be using the Win2 USB tool, which allows you to install Windows 10 onto a USB flash drive. While there are other software options available, we'll be focusing on this one today. Keep in mind that the free version comes with some limitations, which I'll highlight during the setup process. Next, you need Windows 10 ISO file. You can get this from Microsoft's website using the media creation tool. If you're unsure where to find it, don't worry, I'll walk you through it. Go to the website, scroll down and click on download button. Once you have both file downloaded, we can begin the installation process. First, we'll run the Windows media creation tool to download the Windows 10 ISO file. I already have the ISO file, but I'll walk you through how to get it, just in case you're unfamiliar with the process. Follow these steps to download the ISO file to your computer. Select the Create Installation Media option and click Next. Choose your preferred language. I'll leave it set to the default English, then click Next to continue. Select the ISO file option and click Next. Choose a location to save the file where you can easily access it later. The download will now begin. The time it takes will depend on your internet speed, so be patient while it completes. I already have ISO file, so I will cancel the downloading. Next, install the Winter USB application, which will allow us to run a live Windows 10 operating system from a USB flash drive. Launch the application and follow the on-screen steps to install in your computer. Click Finish to launch Winter USB software. Here, you'll see three options. Windows to go USB. This option creates a portable Windows environment that can run directly from a USB drive. Windows installation USB. This is used to create a bootable USB drive for installing Windows. Bootable WinPE USB. This allows you to create a USB drive using a WinPE ISO. For this video, we'll be using the Windows to go USB option to install a portable version of Windows 10 on our USB drive. In the Select Installation Source section, click Browse Image File and choose the Windows 10 ISO file. Next, select the Windows Edition you want to install. Then, choose the destination drive by selecting your USB flash drive. For the partition scheme, select MBR for BIOS and under Installation Mode, choose Legacy. Once done, click Proceed. If you encounter an error stating that the free trial version does not support Windows Professional or Education, select Windows Home in drop-down menu, then Proceed. Once you click Proceed, the installation process will begin, setting up Windows as a Windows to go system on your USB flash drive. This process can take quite a while, so be patient. It may appear stuck at 0% for a long time, but once it progresses, you'll see the USB drive filling up with data. This is why using the fastest flash drive possible is important. Slower drives will significantly extend the installation time. Once the process is complete, your USB drive is ready for Windows 10 live booting. Restart your computer and access the boot menu to proceed. Access the boot menu by pressing F2, F12, Delete or Escape, depending on your computer, during startup. 
Once in the boot menu, select your USB drive as the boot device and press enter. Your computer will then boot from the USB flash drive, launching Windows 10. This process may take some time as Windows needs to set up essential system files on your USB flash drive. After your computer restarts, access the boot menu again by pressing the designated boot key and selecting your USB drive. Alternatively, you can set your USB drive as the primary boot device in the BIOS settings, allowing your system to boot from it automatically without needing to enter the boot menu each time. During this stage, it will prepare your user account and configure necessary settings. Just be patient. This step takes longer, but once it's complete, Windows should boot up quickly and you'll be ready to go without any issues. Select your preferred language and click Next. Then choose your keyboard layout. Follow the on-screen instructions to complete the basic configuration for Windows 10. Once you reach the Almost There screen, you're just moments away from accessing the Windows 10 desktop running directly from your USB flash drive. At this stage, Windows 10 is fully installed and functioning from your USB. For the best performance, make sure to use a USB 3.0 flash drive. This will ensure a smoother and faster experience. If you use a USB 2.0 drive, you may experience lag and slower performance. That's it for today's video. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more tech content. Thanks for watching, have a great day, and see you in the next one.